Hey team, welcome back to my channel. I am back from Australia. I have lots and lots of stories for you guys and today's workout is called Reef Radiance Rumble. All right team, it's gonna be a full body workout. We're gonna get nice and sweaty and at the end, I'm gonna show you lots of pictures of us scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef. All right team, you don't need any equipment. Your mat and your water bottle, let's get ready to rock. All right, team, we're gonna start with just a simple warm up. Go ahead and step towards the back of your mat or towel right here. We're gonna come to some high knees forward to some butt kickers back. So arms come up overhead, pull that knee up, pull the other knee up, walking forward to the front of your mat or towel right here, and then butt kicker your way back, bringing that heel up towards the booty. Good, team. So Australia, overall, amazing. New Zealand, overall, amazing. I have just nothing but positive things to say. It was like such an epic trip. It might be my favorite trip like ever in life. Um, and so I was like, how am I gonna tell my YouTube fam, the Fluff family, about this trip? Because there's so much to tell. We did so many things. I was there for two weeks, which usually we go on vacation for one week, so it's kind of longer than usual. Perfect, so you go ahead and take those feet nice and wide. Arms out in a T formation, we're gonna come to some windmills. I'm gonna go ahead and take the right hand towards the left toe, back to center, take the left hand towards the right toe, back to center, alternating sides right here, get a nice stretch in that hamstring, and a nice spinal twist going. So anyways, I've decided that, because I have so many pictures, <laughs> The best is to break it into pieces. So we went to Sydney and then Cairns and then Brisbane and then New Zealand. We stayed in Cambridge on the North Island. Good team, couple more here. And so I'm gonna break it into pieces. Good, go ahead and rock those feet back together. We're gonna go ahead and come to your natural squat stance as we come into some overhead squats. So go ahead and squat it down, bring the arms up overhead to counterbalance your weight right here, right team? Set that booty back, don't worry about getting super low. It's just a warm up. Let's try and get a little bit lower with each rep. So anyways, we're gonna start with Great Barrier Reef in this video because that was easily top experience of this trip. I think it was the top experience of my life. I thought it was so amazing. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the seven natural wonders of the world. And now I see why. I have never seen such beautiful underwater architecture and just everything. It was just glorious. So much life was there. Perfect team. Shake it off. Go ahead and take it from the top. Go ahead and come towards the back of that mat or towel. We'll come right back into those high knees to butt kickers back. So we'll start at the beginning. I guess we'll try and cover cans in general, but emphasis on the Great Barrier Reef because that's the cool part. Um, so anyways, cans is hot. It is hotter than Hawaii um, in Southern Hemisphere. It's summertime there, um, kind of spring turning into summer. And so it is their summer, keeping that into perspective. But even so, it, I think because Hawaii is surrounded by ocean, um, we get a little more breeze coming through here. And so it was really humid um, in Cannes. So it is hot. If you ever go there, fair warning, it's hot. Go and take those feet nice and wide. We'll come right back into those windmills. Um, and so tropical, tropical weather, tropical environment. And that's kind of the first thing we notice. So first day we take a day trip to, I'm, I'm probably gonna butcher the pronunciation, but I think it's Jacaranda. Um, and you take a train, which was cool, cause you know, I'm a Harry Potter fan. So I was like, this is like going on the Hogwarts Express. Um, and you go to this little village, which is so cute. Jacaranda is really cute. Um, and they had a butterfly sanctuary there. And it's just amazing. You go in there and there's all these different types of butterflies. It's beautiful. Perfect team, go ahead and take those feet back into that natural squat stance, back into those overhead squats. And so anyways, that's day one. Um, and then day two was Thanksgiving day. And that's the day we went scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef. And we booked this tour and um, we booked like, a, I don't know what you call it, the VIP experience, something like that. And so we have like our own like booth to ourselves on the boat um, and our own food and stuff like that. So we get there and there's this big fruit platter waiting for us and I was like, Perfect, and they know that I'm vegan and my fiance is vegetarian. Perfect, team, shake it off. Go ahead and bring those feet back together right here as you come. Step towards the front of your mat or towel as we come into a forward fold. Hinge at the hips, let everything go heavy. Get a nice stretch in those hamstrings. Good. And then when you're ready, go ahead and plant the palms. Step the right foot back. Step the left foot back so you're in plank position. Hold it here for a five count. One, two, three, four, five. And then go ahead and bend the knees, drop them to the ground so you're on all fours as we come into a cat-cow stretch. Drop the belly, look forward. 
and curve. Belly button is fine. We'll get out, get a little weird. Find any tight spots. Good arch. And curve. Arch. And curve. Good. We'll go one more each. Big arch. And curve. Good team. Go ahead and come to a neutral spine as we come into some bird dogs. So go ahead and send the right leg out and the left arm. And then use your core. Reel it in. Knee to elbow. Good. Extend. Reel it in. Extend. Reel it in. Got a little runny nose going on. Extend. Reel it in. And last one. Extend and reel it in. First, you can go ahead and drop. Same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and send out that left leg and the right arm, and then reel it in. Extend, reel it in. Extend, reel it in. We'll go two more. Extend, reel it in, and last one. Extend and reel it in. Perfect, you can go ahead and come back to neutral right here. Curl those toes under and peel the hips up nice and high into a down dog. Take a beat here to pedal up this feet. Shake off your fluff, get a nice stretch in those calves going on. Good, and then when you're ready, we'll go ahead and step the right foot forward into your runner's lunge. Find your footing here first, and then you're gonna rise on up into a high lunge. Good team, good. So get that right hip flexor tucked up underneath you, pull the left hip crease your back. When you find your footing here, go ahead and bring those arms out in a T formation. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the right arm forward and the left arm back, rotate, back to center, rotate. Back to center, make sure you feel that hip flexor should be nice and stretched, keep it nice and tucked. Good, rotate, back to center, and one more. Rotate, back to center. And from here, go ahead and bring those hands down, straighten out through that front leg pyramid posture. Good, now keep a nice little bend in the knee so don't straighten out all the way. Good, feel a nice stretch in that front hamstring. And when you're ready, team, go ahead and bend that front knee, come back into your low lunge here, plant the palm, step that left foot back to meet the right. Recenter, take a beat here to pedal up those feet. Shake off your fluff. And then same little dance on the opposite side. So go ahead and step just the right foot up right here. Find your footing first and then rise on up into a high lunge. Get the left hip tucked up underneath you this time. Pull the right hip creaser back. Good team. And when you find your footing here, you feel nice and stable. Go ahead and bring those arms out in the T formation. This time the left arm's gonna go forward and the right arm back. Good, rotate, back to center. Rotate, back to center. Rotate, back to center. Good, feel that hip flexor stretch. Last one, rotate, and back to center. Good team, go ahead and bring those palms down, straighten out through that front leg, pyramid posture. I feel like my, my microphone is right here on my hip, so I feel like I'm squishing it. <laughs> Give a little space here. Good. Try to get those hands down to the ground, though, not like I'm doing. Do as I say, not as I do. Good team. And when you're ready, go ahead and bend that front knee, plant the palms right here, set that right foot back to meet the left. Last little shake off right here. Good, recenter, stretch out those calves. And then when you're ready, take a nice walk up to your hands, meet your breaking point, roll it up, get some water if you need it, and we'll come into our workout. All right, team, so coming into our first circuit, slightly different format from usual. Between each exercise, we're gonna do a jumping jack to a high knee. So you're either gonna jack, high knee, jack, high knee, or if you don't want impact, you're gonna Step it out, high knee. Step it out, high knee. All right, team, 30 seconds of that between each exercise. First exercise, we'll come to a squat to front kick. So go ahead and come to your natural squat stance. We're gonna squat it down, come up, front kick, squat back down, front kick opposite side. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock, let's work. So anyways, we get there and there's a big fruit platter waiting for us and we have a personal guide the whole time um, and she was great. And anyway, so she's like telling us what we're gonna do and whatnot. And she said like her first dive spot that we're going to is like her favorite spot. And the tour group that we booked through is called Reef Experience. And so they play it by ear of where to dive each time. Great Barrier Reef, gigantic. So they're not stuck on, you know, having to go to one spot. Perfect team, check it off. Come right into those jumping jacks to high knees. There's I guess on the clock team. Let's work. Good. Remember, you can always step it out. Um, so anyways, they will kind of like, you know, talk to their boats from the morning, dives and stuff like that and say like, you know, which one has like not a strong current and good visibility going on and cool stuff to see. So if there's a spot that's got like a, a whale and it's headed some direction, they'll try and make sure that you see that, you know? Um, so they don't always go to the same locations. And so it landed on like the first location we're going to was one of her favorite spots. Perfect team. 
Check it out. Go ahead and step towards the front of your mat or towel right here. We're going to come to an alternating reverse lunge to kickstand deadlift. So it looks like this. I'm going to put my weight in my left foot right here. I'm going to reverse lunge with the right. Come up to a kickstand stance. So I'm on the ball of that back foot right here. From here, I'm going to deadlift. Hinging at the hips, standing back up. So my weight should be in this front foot. This glute is turned on as I deadlift. Put that back nice and straight and back up. Reverse lunge, kickstand stance, kickstand deadlift. All right, team. 30 seconds staying on the same side. Then we'll switch sides. When you're ready, team, let's work. Good, nice strong legs here. Good. So anyways, um, and we go in and it is just phenomenal. It's the most beautiful reef I've ever seen. I've never seen coral like that. The coral is like built up all around you. Um, it's like, like if New York City was like an underwater city for fish, that's what the Great Barrier Reef is like. Good team. And so there's just coral. You can go down, make a 360 degree turn. There's coral all around you. Perfect. Same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and switch your weight over to that right foot. There's like a second on the clock, team. Let's work. Um, and so many fish. All these fish are just, you know, there's different anemone and all types of stuff. And they're just coming in and out as they please of their little homes, you know. Um, so we did find Nemo. We found lots of clownfish. Um, and they really do live in anemones, like in the movie Finding Nemo. Um, and they do that on purpose. It protects them from predators because it does sting things. Um, so that was amazing. And I saw a shark and a little one, like four feet, not huge. So not, not super scary. Perfect team, shake it off. Go ahead and come right back into those jumping jack to high knees. There's a guess on the clock team. Let's work. Good. Our favorite thing that we saw were giant clams, which I really, I remember I wanted to see them. Um, and then it's like, when I was diving, like the day of, I forgot that that was like on my bucket list of things to see. And we saw two giant clams at the first sight and they're just huge. They're like four feet by four feet. And she said, oh yeah, they're like 400 pounds. She didn't know that that was like our favorite thing. We didn't mention that, you know? Um, and so she's like, oh yeah, they're about 400 pounds. Perfect team, shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and come to a pike glute raise to a bear hold. So it looks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and come onto palms and toes right here in this pike shape. So hips nice and high up in the air. I'm gonna go ahead and take my right leg, lift it up nice and high, bring it down, drop the knee so I'm in bear hold, hovering just above the ground. Lift it back up, bring the left leg up, glute raise, back to bear hold. All right team, 30 seconds, all staying sides right here. Let's work. Um, so we were so tickled by these clams and it's kind of funny, you know, when you're underwater, um, it's like underwater sign language. There's symbols that are universal, you know, that all divers, you learn that when you get certified. Um, things like, you know, I'm out of air and low on oxygen. And if you need to share air with a buddy or something's wrong with your mask, you learn all those symbols. And then there's sim hand signals for different ocean life. Perfect team, go ahead and come on up. We'll come right back into that jumping jack to high knee. There's I guess on the clock team. Let's work. Good. And so the one for clam is like this, like clam. Um, <laughs> and so I'm like signaling to my fiance, like clam, clam. Not that he can miss it, the thing is huge, you know, but we were so amused. I really wanted to touch it, but you know, you shouldn't touch ocean life, just let it be wild. But I was really curious, I was like, is it like a Venus flytrap? Is it like this, is it like that? So of course, as soon as I got off, I went and looked up videos and wanted to learn all about this giant clam. Perfect team, check it out. Go ahead and make your way down onto the ground. We're gonna come into some Russian twists. Oh, my tag's out. I was like, what is hitting my neck? All right, <laughs> make your way down onto the ground right here, onto your butts as we come into some Russian twists. So lean on your butt, balance right here. So often here, you can keep the feet down on the ground, just lean back so those abs are engaged and then rotate side to side or the more advanced version, you can lift those feet up off the ground and rotate from here. All right, team, pick your poison. When you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. And you can also, you know, you're not stuck with one or the other. You can start here, get tired, maybe drop the feet, or maybe you're here and you're like, you know what, I got this, and then you pop on up, you know, play it by ear, play it by feel. Good, team. Do challenge yourself, whatever that means for you on this day. Good team, a few more seconds. Nice strong course here, oh yeah. Two weeks of vacation, I'm feeling it. Beautiful team, perfect. Go ahead and come on up. We'll come right back into those 
jumping jack to high knees. Last round of these. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Um, we saw, I actually don't know if it was a manta ray or a stingray. Um, octopus, squid, um, a big lionfish. So much, just beautiful, beautiful stuff. And like I said, it's just amazing. Like everywhere you turn, there's something cool to see. So, you know, take your time. I definitely think it's a type of experience where like go big or go home. If you can afford to do the VIP experience, that's the best way to do it. In my opinion, perfect team, shake it off. I'll explain it after the water break, but get some water if you need it. Then we'll come into the second half of our workout. All right, team, so coming into the second half of this workout, this time between each exercise, you'll step towards one side of the mat or towel. We're gonna come to a lateral shuffle to a high knee. So it looks like this. I'm gonna lateral shuffle across my mat or towel, take the inside knee, high knee. Lateral shuffle back, high knee, opposite side. All right, team, 30 seconds of that between each exercise. First exercise, we're gonna come to some sumo squat, invisible med ball slam. So you're gonna take the feet nice and wide, wider than they would be in a typical squat stance, toes pointed slightly outward. You're gonna take an invisible med ball. So pretend like you have a big ball in your hands. Take it up overhead, you're gonna sumo squat. So bend those knees, bring the booty down, and slam the med ball down. Then you gotta catch it, bring it back up, squat it back down, slam it down. Use your core to swing those arms down with some energy. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock, let's work. So anyways, we also had a, had, sorry, we had a personal guide, and we had our own booth, and we had a personal photographer. And this is just how I feel about it. You know, it's very special to go to the Great Barrier Reef. Like I said, it's one of the seven natural wonders of the world. It's beautiful. You want as many pictures as possible. And I don't think you want to be the person taking those pictures. They have really nice equipment. They've got amazing underwater photography equipment. And you just want to be in the moment. Um, perfect team, shake it off. Go ahead and come towards one side of your mountain towel. Back to that lateral shuffle to a high knee. There's a second from the clock team. Let's work. And you want them to take pictures of you and get as many pictures as you can to remember it all, you know? Um, and so I just feel like that makes that worth that payment. Um, and the other stuff is nice too, you know, having our own booth and getting a fruit platter. And then you have lunch. Lunch was great. I had my own special vegan stuff brought to me. When you do the VIP experience, you don't go through the buffet line. Um, they bring your food to you, your personal guide that's with you all day. She brings it to you. She's amazing. I love her. Perfect team. Shake it out. We're going to go ahead and come to a lateral leg raise to a little mini squat. So go ahead and bring those feet nice and close together right here. And we're just going to go ahead and take that right foot out to the side. Lateral leg raise, engage that outer hip, bring it back down, a little mini squat. Opposite side goes, a little mini squat, right team? 30 seconds, all staying sides right here. Let's work. And so they bring you lunch and then you go to the second dive site. I love the second dive site just as much. We actually did some snorkeling too on the first dive site. Also part of the being in the VIP experience, you're like the last people to get out of the water. So you spend maximum time in the reef. Um, it's just, it's worth it. It's like save your money so that you can go do this experience. And then when you get to do that experience, don't save anything. You already saved up just so you could do this. Here is when you spend the money. All right, team. Good. Perfect, team. Shake it up. Go ahead and come right back into that lateral shuffle to high knee. We got 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. Um, so that's how I feel about that one. Spend the money. Go hard. <laughs> Good, team. Great Bear Reef. Just amazing, amazing experience. Okay. So anyways, I got seasick. I get motion sick all the time, so it's not surprising. I don't care. It was a thousand percent worth it. I was, I was like, I had um, medicine for it and they were really sweet to me. And they have this um, ginger pill that I'd never heard of in the US, but it's really commonplace in Australia. And the ginger pill worked great to try and cure my motion sickness. Perfect team, shake it off. We're going to go ahead and come into a kneeling position right here. So I'm going to go ahead and come onto my right knee right here and bring the left leg out nice and long. Now I'm going to lean my body over to the side, leaning over towards the right side, bring both arms up and overhead. I'm going to keep this and oblique is really working. This left oblique is really working. I'm going to take this left arm, draw a rainbow and back. All right, team, 30 seconds staying on one side and then we'll switch sides. When you're ready, team, prop on up, lean and let's work. Good, if this is much too much, you can always just lean a little bit less, all right, team? You can adjust the intensity according to your energy level and your strength for today. Beautiful, team. Good, breathe through it. Um, so anyways, 
The next day we planned like a down day. Every city we had like a day where nothing was scheduled, um, you know, where we could just kind of relax. And so I really appreciated that because I was, you know, motion sick and I threw up and stuff. Perfect team, shake it off. Same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and come onto that left knee and stick the right leg out right here. Go ahead and lean towards the left this time. Bring both arms up overhead. There's seconds in the clock, team. Let's work. Um, so we made that a down day, which was great. Slept in and whatnot, um, and kind of walked around the city of Cairns. Let me tell you guys, but in Cairns, we kind of stayed in like the downtown area. We didn't want to get a car, so we intentionally made it so that everything was, a, was within walking distance. And so we're walking along the water, and there's a public pool along the water that is just free and everybody can go in. And I just thought it was so glorious. Everybody has access to this pool and there's nice lockers and a nice bathroom. Perfect team, prop on up, go ahead and come right back into those lateral shuffles to high knees. Go ahead and come towards one side of your mat. Ciao, 30 seconds on the clock team, let's work. And so I thought that was great. And then in the afternoons, they had instructors and they would lead like an aqua fitness class and it's just free. It's just free for the public to just come use this pool and come work out. And I just loved that feeling of community. That too, I never saw a dirty bathroom like in the US. In the US, in a big city, good luck trying to find a public restroom in the first place. And then they're like not very clean and stuff. I never saw a dirty bathroom the whole time. Everything was like just well respected by everybody. Perfect team. Shake it up. Go ahead and come down onto palms and toes right here top of a push-up position as we come into some shoulder taps i'm gonna go ahead and come into plank position i'm gonna take my right hand tap the left shoulder back down take the left hand towards the right shoulder back down try not to let the hips swivel too much all right team really try to engage that core nice strict movement if this is much too much you can also drop down onto the knees and shoulder tap from here all right team meet your appropriate edge for today when you're ready we got 30 seconds on the clock pick your poison prop on up let's work and remember just like the other exercise with russian twists um you know if you start on one and then maybe you get tired and then you drop to your knees or maybe you're here and then you're like i got this you want to prop on up for a bit you know you're not stuck with one or the other good team and so anyways we walked around cans and just like you know took it all in and bought some souvenirs and I just love the sense of community in general that I found in Australia, but that was specifically for cans. I really like the public pool situation. Good team. Go ahead and come on up. We'll come right back into our last round of lateral shuffles to a high knee. Can I take us on the clock team? Let's work. I thought that was extra special. Um, anyways, so then the next day, we went through a tour of the Daintree Rainforest, and that is the first rainforest ever in the world. So anyways, went to go see the OG of Rainforest and that was a special day trip um, as well. And we went to Mossman Gorge and then we went to Daintree Rainforest and then you go to Cape Tribulation, which is where the rainforest and the reef meet each other. So tropical rainforest meets tropical reef. All right team, get some water if you need it. Excellent work and we'll come into our cool down. All right team, so coming into a cool down, let's go ahead and start with a quad stretch. So option here to hold onto a wall, but definitely stare at something stable in front of you. So not me because I'm human and I fall over. You're gonna go ahead and bring that left foot up behind you. Catch it with your left hand right here and pull it back. Feel a nice stretch in the front of that leg and your quad muscle. Good team. So anyways, um, so Mossman Gorge, and then you see the rainforest and then you see Cape Tribulation, which is where they connect. In the rainforest, I saw a wild wallaby. We were like, is that a kangaroo? It looked too small. I think it was a wallaby. Perfect team, shake it off. And the same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and switch your weight over towards that left foot. Bring that right foot up behind you and stretch in the right quad. And so we saw a wild wallaby and a whole bunch of bats. A whole bunch of bats were up in this tree. Um, so lots of wildlife there. Um, and just trees and stuff that I would never see in the US. You know, Australia really has its own ecosystem, a whole different types of species from what I'm used to and all types of stuff. Perfect team. Shake it off. Go ahead and interlace the fingers behind the back right here and pull the shoulders down and away. Opening up the chest, slight back bend here. Good. Gaze goes up. I'm going to close my eyes because the sun's in my eyes, but you can keep them open. Good. And so that was just a lot of fun learning about that. And then on that day as well, part of your tour, you get lunch and you do croc spotting. I think that's the most Australian thing 
I've ever heard in my life where <laughs> we went on this, I think it's a river, um, river formation thing, perfect team, you shake it off and go ahead and come into a forward fold right here, hinging at the hips, good. And then when you're ready, you'll go ahead and plant the palms right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and step just the right foot back and then go ahead and drop the back right knee and come on up into this kneeling hip flexor stretch. So get that right hip tucked right if you pull the left hip creaser back. Good team. And so you go on this river cruise. Oh yeah, it must be river because it's called river cruise. And so anyways, and then we have a guide and he's taking us around. And it's kind of funny because like, He's named all the crocodiles, you know, and they all have, you know, all the tour guides are like talking to each other, like, oh yeah, where did you last see him and stuff like that. And so we went croc spotting and we did see crocodiles. The big ones are underwater, so they're harder to spot because you to see like the, kind of the, I feel like it's kind of iconic when you think of crocodiles, you think of just like the nose and the eyes above the water. Good team, go ahead and bring those hands down right here. And we're just gonna spider, spider walk those fingers, pivot on the back knee right here, over towards the back edge of the mat right here. Send that left leg out long, come onto the right hand and send the left arm up and overhead, get a nice stretch in the left side body. Good team. Um, remember to stay open here, so try not to collapse forward, but stay nice and open. And so anyways, we went croc spotting. That was amazing. Um, and this is also like a day tour. So they pick you up from your hotel, take you all around. Um, at least that's the way that we booked it. You can definitely get your own car and take yourself around. Um, we chose to not do that. Good team. Go ahead and spider, spider finger, spider walk your way back into your kneeling hip flexor stretch. Plant the palms, lift that back knee, curl those back toes back under, lift the back knee. And then when you're ready, you're gonna step that right foot all the way up to meet the left and you're back in your forward fold. Beautiful little human origami. And then when you're ready, team, when you feel nice and recentered, catch your breath a little bit, you can plant those palms and step just the left foot back this time, then go ahead and drop that back left knee, rise on up, kneeling hip flexor stretch on the other side, get that left hip flexor tucked up when you do pull the right hip creaser back. Um, yeah, so that was Daintree Rainforest Day, and then the next day we left and went to Brisbane. Um, but man oh man what a special wait till you guys see these pictures like this is why i'm saying like do the vip experience have a photographer follow you around and capture all the things that you see um and some of the things that you might have not seen like i know i saw the shark and i pointed it out which this is the shark symbol so we're like shark here so <laughs> both me and the guy we were trying to point out i happened to turn around at that moment and the shark was behind my fiance. So he didn't see it because he was like, oh, look, a fishy. You know, there's so much stuff to see. So he wasn't paying attention. And then he turned and saw us and then he tried to turn. By the time he turned, it was gone. Um, good team, go ahead and spider finger, spider walk your way to the back here, pivot on that back knee. Come all the way over to the left palm, send that right leg out long and the right arm up and overhead. Nice stretch in the right side body. Um, but that's okay. He got pictures of it. So he knows what was behind him. Good team. Um, and it's a reef shark, reef sharks aren't very big, um, so it's okay. And I know a lot of people, like that's the fear of scuba diving, it's big old sharks. <sighs> Good team. Good. And that's why I feel like, a, I just felt safer with a guide. And good team, go ahead and spider, finger your way back over to your kneeling hip flexor stretch right here. And your meet back in center, curl those back toes back under, lift the back knee, and then when you're ready, you'll step that left foot up to meet the right, and you're back in your forward fold. Let everything go heavy right here. Take a deep breath in this hamstring stretch. Good team. Good. And then slowly, slowly, slowly. So she moved all day. Roll it up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Feel it out. Oh yeah. Good. My body is, you know, from traveling, I'm like all stiff and bloated, but I'm, I'm getting back in the swing of things. We're getting there. Good team. And when you get to the top right here, we'll meet in mountain pose. Feet come together, palms face forward. And on an inhale, we'll go ahead and bring both arms up overhead. Big clap, giant namaste, make a round of applause because you deserve it. And then go ahead and bring both palms down to the third eye. If you guys enjoyed this workout, please hit the like button and subscribe because I have new workouts every single week. I have a whole bunch of fun stories because I still have to tell you guys about Sydney, Brisbane, and New Zealand definitely needs its own video as well. I'm probably going to group Sydney and Brisbane into one and show those pictures. And then I'll put New Zealand into its own category because that was extra special too. But in the meanwhile, stay tuned for pictures of the Great Barrier Reef and other stuff in cans. I'll try and see if stuff is like, um, the other pictures are high quality enough to go on a big YouTube video um, for the Daintree Rainforest and all the other stuff that I mentioned. All right, team, we'll go ahead and say our farewells for today. The divine in me honors the divine in you. Namaste. Stay tuned for pictures and I will see you guys next time.